In fluid mechanics, a fluid is said to be in hydrostatic equilibrium or hydrostatic balance when it is at rest, or when the flow velocity at each point is constant over time. This occurs when external forces such as gravity are balanced by a pressure gradient force. For instance, the pressure gradient force prevents gravity from collapsing Earth's atmosphere into a thin, dense shell, whereas gravity prevents the pressure gradient force from diffusing the atmosphere into space. Hydrostatic equilibrium is the current distinguishing criterion between dwarf planets and small solar system bodies, and has other roles in astrophysics and planetary geology. This qualification typically means that the object is symmetrically rounded into a spheroid or ellipsoid shape, where any irregular surface features are due to a relatively thin solid crust. There are 32 observationally confirmed such objects apart from the Sun, sometimes called planemos, in the Solar System, seven more that are virtually certain, and a hundred or so more that are likely. Topic. Mathematical consideration Topic. Derivation from force summation Newton's laws of motion state that a volume of a fluid that is not in motion or that is in a state of constant velocity must have zero net force on it. This means the sum of the forces in a given direction must be opposed by an equal sum of forces in the opposite direction. This force balance is called a hydrostatic equilibrium. The fluid can be split into a large number of cuboid volume elements. By considering a single element, the action of the fluid can be derived. There are three forces, the force downwards onto the top of the cuboid from the pressure, P, of the fluid above it is, from the definition of pressure, F T O P equals minus P T O P A Display style F underscore top equals P underscore top C D O T A. Similarly, the force on the volume element from the pressure of the fluid below pushing upwards as F B O T T O M equals P B O T T O M A display style F underscore bottom equals P underscore bottom C D O T A. Finally, the weight of the volume element causes a force downwards. If the density is rho, the volume is V and G the standard gravity. Then F W E I G H T equals minus rho G V display style F underscore weight equals rho C D O T G C D O T V the volume of this cuboid is equal to the area of the top or bottom times the height the formula for finding the volume of a cube f w e i g h t equals minus rho g a h Display style F underscore weight equals rho C D O T G C D O T A C D O T H by balancing these forces, the total force on the fluid is F equals F B O T T O M plus F T O P 
plus F W E I G H T equals P B O T T O M A minus P T O P A minus Rho G A H Display style sum f equals f underscore bottom plus f underscore top plus f underscore weight equals p underscore bottom c d o t a p underscore top c d o t o row c d o t g c d o t a c d o t h. This sum equals zero if the fluid's velocity is constant. Dividing by a zero equals P B O T T O M minus P T O P minus Rho G H Display style zero equals p underscore bottom p underscore top row c d o t g c d o t h or p t o p minus p b o t t o m equals minus rho g h display style p underscore top p underscore bottom equals rho c d o t g c d o t h p top minus p bottom is a change in pressure and h is the height of the volume element a change in the distance above the ground by saying these changes are infinitesimally small, the equation can be written in differential form. D P equals minus rho g d h. Display style D P equals rho c d o t g c d o t d h. Density changes with pressure, and gravity changes with height, so the equation would be d p equals minus rho p g h d h. Display style d p equals rho p c d o t g h c d o t d h. Topic. Derivation from Navier-Stokes equations Note finally that this last equation can be derived by solving the three-dimensional Navier-Stokes equations for the equilibrium situation where u equals b equals p x equals P Y equals zero. Display style U equals V equals FRAC partial P partial X equals FRAC partial P partial Y equals zero. Then the only non-trivial equation is the Z display style Z equation, which now reads P Z plus rho g equals zero. Display style frac partial p partial z plus rho g equals zero. 
Thus, hydrostatic balance can be regarded as a particularly simple equilibrium solution of the Navier-Stokes equations. Topic: <laughs> Derivation from general relativity. By plugging the energy momentum tensor for a perfect fluid, T mu nu equals rho c minus 2 plus p u mu u nu plus p g mu nu Display style t caret mu nu equals rho c caret minus two plus p u caret mu u caret nu plus p g caret mu nu into the Einstein field equations r mu nu equals eight pi g c four T mu nu minus one two G mu nu T display style R underscore mu nu equals frac eight pi G C carrot four T underscore mu nu frac one two G underscore mu nu T and using the conservation condition mu t mu nu equals 0 display style nabla underscore mu t caret mu nu equals 0 one can derive the talman oppenheimer volkoff equation for the structure of a static, spherically symmetric relativistic star in isotropic coordinates d p d r equals minus g m r rho r r 2 1 plus p r rho r c 2 1 plus 4 pi r 3 p r m r c 2 1 minus 2 g m r r c 2 minus 1 Display style FRAC DP Doctor equals FRAC GM R row R R carrot two left one plus FRAC PR row R C carrot two right left one plus FRAC four pi R carrot three PR MR C carrot two right left one FRAC two GM R R C carrot two right carrot minus one in practice, rho and rho are related by an equation of state of the form f rho, rho equals zero, with f specific to makeup of the star. m r is a foliation of spheres weighted by the mass density rho r, with the largest sphere having radius r m r equals 4 pi 0 r D R R two row R display style m r equals four pi int underscore zero caret r jur caret two row r. 
For standard procedure in taking the nonrelativistic limit, we let c infinity, so that the factor 1 plus p r rho r c 2 1 plus 4 pi r 3 p r m r c 2 1 minus 2 g m r r c 2 minus 1 1 Display style left one plus FRAC P R row R C carrot two right left one plus FRAC four Pi R carrot three P R M R C carrot two right left one FRAC two G M R R C carrot two right carrot minus one right arrow one. Therefore, in the nonrelativistic limit the Tolman Oppenheimer Volkoff equation reduces to Newton's hydrostatic equilibrium. D P D R equals minus G M R Rho R R two equals Minus G R Rho R D P equals minus Rho H G H D H Display style FRAC DP Doctor equals FRAC GM R row R R carrot two equals G R row R long right arrow DP equals row H G H D H. We have made the trivial notation change H equals R and have used F row row equals zero to express row in terms of P. A similar equation can be computed for rotating, axially symmetric stars, which in its gauge independent form reads I P P plus Rho minus I lane U T plus U T U Phi I U Phi U T equals zero Display style FRAC partial underscore I P P plus row partial underscore I lane U carrot T plus U underscore T U carrot Phi partial underscore I FRAC U underscore Phi U underscore T equals zero. Unlike the Tav equilibrium equation, these are two equations for instance, if as usual when treating stars, one chooses spherical coordinates as basis coordinates t r theta phi display style t r theta phi the index i runs for the coordinates r and theta display style theta Topic Applications Topic Fluids The hydrostatic equilibrium pertains to hydrostatics and the principles of equilibrium of fluids. A hydrostatic balance is a particular balance for weighing substances in water. Hydrostatic balance allows the discovery of their specific gravities. Topic: Astrophysics. 
In any given layer of a star, there is a hydrostatic equilibrium between the outward thermal pressure from below and the weight of the material above pressing inward. The isotropic gravitational field compresses the star into the most compact shape possible. A rotating star in hydrostatic equilibrium is an oblate spheroid up to a certain critical angular velocity. An extreme example of this phenomenon is the star Vega, which has a rotation period of 12.5 hours. Consequently, Vega is about 20% larger at the equator than at the poles. A star with an angular velocity above the critical angular velocity becomes a Jacobi scalene ellipsoid, and at still faster rotation it is no longer ellipsoidal but piriform or oviform, with yet other shapes beyond that, though shapes beyond scalene are not stable. If the star has a massive nearby companion object then tidal forces come into play as well, distorting the star into a scalene shape when rotation alone would make it a spheroid. An example of this is Beta Lyrae. Hydrostatic equilibrium is also important for the intracluster medium, where it restricts the amount of fluid that can be present in the core of a cluster of galaxies. We can also use the principle of hydrostatic equilibrium to estimate the velocity dispersion of dark matter in clusters of galaxies. Only baryonic matter or, rather, the collisions thereof emits X-ray radiation. The absolute X-ray luminosity per unit volume takes the form L X equals lambda T B rho B 2 Display style math call L underscore x equals lambda T underscore B rho underscore B carrot two where T B display style T underscore B and rho B display style rho underscore B are the temperature and density of the baryonic matter and Lambda t display style lambda t is some function of temperature and fundamental constants. The baryonic density satisfies the above equation. D p equals minus rho g d r Display style dp equals rho gdr p b r plus d r minus p b r equals minus d r rho b r G R two zero R four Pi R two Rho M R D R Display style p underscore b r plus d r p underscore b r equals drive frac row underscore b r g r caret two int underscore zero caret r four pi r caret two row underscore m r doctor. The integral is a measure of the total mass of the cluster with r display style r being the proper distance to the center of the cluster using the ideal gas law p b equals k t b rho b m b Display style p underscore b equals k t underscore b rho underscore b per meter underscore b k. Display style k is Boltzmann's constant and m 
B display style M underscore B is a characteristic mass of the baryonic gas particles and rearranging we arrive at D D R K T B R row B R M B equals minus row B R G R two zero R four Pi R two row M R D R Display style FRAC D Doctor left FRAC KT underscore BR row underscore BR M underscore B right equals FRAC row underscore BR G R carrot two int underscore zero carrot R four Pi R carrot two row underscore M R Doctor Multiplying by R two Row B R Display style R carrot two row underscore B R and differentiating with respect to R Display style R yields D D R R two row B R D D R K T B R row B R M B equals minus four Pi G R Two row M R display style frac D doctor left frac R carrot two row underscore B R frac D doctor left frac K T underscore B R row underscore B R M underscore B right right equals minus four pi G R carrot two row underscore M R if we make the assumption that cold dark matter particles have an isotropic velocity distribution, then the same derivation applies to these particles, and their density rho d equals rho m minus rho b display style row underscore D equals row underscore M row underscore B satisfies the nonlinear differential equation D D R R 2 row D R D D R K T D R row D R M D equals minus four Pi G R two row M R Display style FRAC D Doctor left FRAC R carrot two row underscore D R FRAC D Doctor left FRAC K T underscore D R row underscore D R M underscore D right right equals minus four Pi G R carrot two row underscore M R with perfect X-ray and distance data, we could calculate the baryon density at each point in the cluster and thus the dark matter density. 
we could then calculate the velocity dispersion sigma d 2 display style sigma underscore d caret 2 of the dark matter which is given by sigma d 2 equals k t d m d display style sigma underscore d caret 2 equals frac k t underscore d m underscore d the central density ratio rho b 0 rho m 0 display style rho underscore b 0 rho underscore m 0 is dependent on the redshift z display style z of the cluster and is given by rho b 0 rho m 0 1 plus z 2 theta s 3 2 display style row underscore b 0 row underscore m 0 propto 1 plus z caret 2 left frac theta s right caret 3 halves where theta display style theta is the angular width of the cluster and s display style s the proper distance to the cluster values for the ratio range from 0.11 to 0.14 for various surveys topic planetary geology The concept of hydrostatic equilibrium has also become important in determining whether an astronomical object is a planet, dwarf planet, or small solar system body. According to the definition of planet adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 2006, one defining characteristic of planets and dwarf planets is that they are objects that have sufficient gravity to overcome their own rigidity and assume hydrostatic equilibrium. Such a body will normally have the differentiated interior and geology of a world a plane mo, though near hydrostatic bodies such as the protoplanet 4 Vesta may also be differentiated. Sometimes the equilibrium shape is an oblate spheroid, as is the case with Earth. However, in the cases of moons in synchronous orbit, nearly unidirectional tidal forces create a scalene ellipsoid. Also, the dwarf planet Haumea is scalene due to its rapid rotation. It had been thought that icy objects with a diameter larger than roughly 400 km are usually in hydrostatic equilibrium, whereas those smaller than that are not. Icy objects need less mass for hydrostatic equilibrium than rocky objects. The smallest object that appears to have an equilibrium shape is the icy moon Mimas at 397 km, whereas the largest object known to have an obviously non-equilibrium shape is the rocky asteroid Pallas at 532 km 582 times 556 times 500 plus or minus 18 km. However, Mimas is not actually in hydrostatic equilibrium for its current rotation. The smallest body confirmed to be in hydrostatic equilibrium is the dwarf planet Ceres, at 945 km, whereas the largest body known to not be in hydrostatic equilibrium is the icy moon Iapetus, at 1,470 km. Because the terrestrial planets and dwarf planets and likewise the larger satellites, like the Moon and Io, have irregular surfaces, this definition evidently has some flexibility, but a specific means of quantifying an object's shape by this standard has not yet been announced. Local irregularities may be consistent with global equilibrium. 
For example, the massive base of the tallest mountain on Earth, Mauna Kea, has deformed and depressed the level of the surrounding crust, so that the overall distribution of mass approaches equilibrium. The amount of leeway afforded the definition could affect the classification of the asteroid Vesta, which may have solidified while in hydrostatic equilibrium but was subsequently significantly deformed by large impacts now 572.6 times 557.2 times 446.4 km. Topic. Atmospherics. In the atmosphere, the pressure of the air decreases with increasing altitude. This pressure difference causes an upward force called the pressure gradient force. The force of gravity balances this out, keeping the atmosphere bound to Earth and maintaining pressure differences with altitude. Topic. See also. List of solar system objects in hydrostatic equilibrium Statics Two-balloon experiment Notes